Hi, wellness enthusiasts. I know uh, we've got an issue that has come up, a surfaced, resurfaced again about lavender and tea tree oil causing breast development in males. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of like a bad penny, won't go away. And, uh, and let me just t comment a few things on this. This is a pretty preliminary, uh, for me, a little preliminary evaluation of this, of this new information because one, I don't, I, there's no study that this, this is a presentation made. So I don't see a paper that I can read and critique at this point. But you know, if I, if I can get a hold of some actual published material, I can talk, I could comment a little bit more critically. But from the little bits that I can get, uh, about, you know, from a BBC article, rev you know, reviewing this talk that was presentation that was given at a conference, uh, that, you know, and so we've, we're dealing with this, I say yet again, because there was a few years back a, a person who had, a guy who had done a case study and, uh, and suspected that the, the shampoo, lavender and tea tree shampoo, uh, was causing breast development in little boys, and it was a single case study, it was, a, you know, like, so when I'm talking about a study, you know, that didn't, that proved anything, and there were a lot of scientists, after that was published, a lot of scientists came out and critical, you know, were critical, very critical about the conclusions, and that it's very difficult when you have a, something like a shampoo to say, okay, I, what, what, why wouldn't you uh, accuse the phthalates that are present in a lot of synthetic fragrances rather than the actual fragrance, you know, coming from the herbal product? It just doesn't make any sense. So I, I kind of have to question the motivation here. Well, this same guy, after he was already sort of reprimanded for bad science, you know, and, and, and sort of a reaching to conclusions, has now come out and done another another presentation here. Now this one gets even more uh, in, in more distant from his, you know, the, the the data from the conclusion. And so from what I can tell, what he's done to evaluate breast development in boys is he's taken human breast cancer cells and then tested. Uh, compounds from from lavender and tea tree oil and evaluated whether they produced uh, whether they had an estrogenic effect in other words these were estrogen sensitive cancer cells and then tested them to see whether they had a positive effect on the estrogen sensitive cancer cells all you conclude about that is that there are compounds in essential oils that have potentially estrogenic activity we already know that that's a well-known and well-documented phenomena. The question is here, would that create some imbalance? Are this, is this estrogenic effect strong enough to overcome a male physiology and create breasts in a, in a, in a male? And the only way to do that, would one way to do that would be is to test it in an animal model, which seems to be very simple. Take some, some uh, male rats and expose them to lavender and tea tree oil and test their fertility and their and their breast development and see what happens. Chances are that's already been done and there's never seen anything that that suggests that lavender or tea tree creates breasts in a male in a male creature. Um, and if that were true, then we would have seen this in the literature. Lavender and tea tree oil have been used for thousands of years and documented in the last 150 to 200 years pretty thoroughly. And people like Jean Claude Le Pras in France, who's written textbooks on essential oils. And, and, and people like Tisserand, uh, who's, who's written huge textbooks on safety of essential oils, they would have identified though that, that phenomena, that, that this would have been something that would have been very clearly documented if this were a real phenomena. The fact that it's coming out in, in you know, 2015 and 2018 suggests to me that this is a very modern phenomena. And so what's different about the lavender and tea tree oil now than the historical lavender and tea tree oil? Well, the big difference is synthetics. And so we know for a fact that, that many, many essential oil and fragrance devices have phthalates and phthalates are known hormone disruptors. So for him to label lavender and tea tree as hormone disruptors as, is a bit absurd from a standpoint of disrupting hormones and influencing hormones. Even his study on cancer cells does not come to the conclusion that they are hormone disruptors. In order to be a disruptor, you have to take a balanced physiology and you have to throw it out of balance with this with this this compound there's no evidence that that's ever going to happen uh, th those studies have been done and we've, we've lots of plenty of research showing and documenting the effects of essential oils on, on, on animal models in fact the one study that i could find that's referenced in tisserand on lavender and male fertility actually shows an increase in sperm count and sperm motility for for rats that have experienced lavender oil 
So, hey, I don't see the whole issue of breast development. So yet again, another example of a poor quality scientist, popular type science being clickbait, right? It's going to get a lot of traffic. BBC picks it up or any news, re news media picks it up because it's going to get a lot of traffic. People are using essential oils. They're, they're, they're a little bit hyper, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, they don't have good, good formation, good science, good backgrounds to understand how essential oils. And there's a lot of bad quality essential oils out there, especially in the popular essential oils like tea tree and lavender. So yes, you are likely, if, you're not, if you don't know a good source of, of tea tree and lavender, you are likely to get a tea tree and lavender or any other essential oil for that matter that is contaminated with phthalates and those are hormone disruptors. So from that perspective, this is a good community service, you know, awareness. Hey, don't use bad quality lavender and tea tree oil because if they contain phthalates, which is an unnatural compound, this is a synthetic additive, if they contain phthalates, those are hormone disruptors and those can do a lot of damage. So that is, that is a very real issue and that is an issue I would caution everyone to say, yes, I would definitely be concerned about you know, breast development or hormone disrupting capabilities of phthalates in synthetic fragrance you know, and other fragrance type devices. And that, that includes in lotions and shampoos. You've heard me talk about this a lot. But honest, true, authentic lavender and tea tree tested against cancer cell lines that, I'm sorry, that, 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 I, that, is not, that is not a relevant study to make a conclusion that has anything to do with, with uh, hormone disrupting capability in a male, uh, in a male subject. So uh, anyway, sorry, try again. Uh, but whatever the agenda is, uh, it's definitely, definitely not to elucidate real science. It's more pro probably, in my opinion, it's more likely to get clickbait traffic and an attention to his research so that he can get the next grant and get the next uh, published you know paper which i'm like i said i haven't seen a published paper on this uh we'll wait and see the last published paper got lambasted in editorials to say oh shame on you for even publishing this this is this is bad science so probably going to come out the same way problem is for those of you who are overly concerned, you're not even going to watch this video, you're just going to go into the tagline, the, the title, oh yes, yet again, lavender and tea tree shown to, to affect uh, male breast development, not true, uh, and never going to be true. So, um, you know, like I said, pretty easy to do a real study that would evaluate that, and that is not what has been done. Uh, probably a reason for that, because they don't want the truth. The truth is, lavender and tea tree are very safe, and they have, safety studies have already been done, so no worries there. Okay, that's my two cents.